a Dread Fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my time lapse video uploads. Uh, a while back when I uh, saw the trailers for Civil War, the Avengers movie, I, I, I was blown away with uh, Tom Holland's portrayal of Spider Man. And since then, we've been treated to a lot of trailers for the Homecoming movie, which looks phenomenal. I really like Tom Holland and the way he is portraying Spider-Man, and the way that, the, I guess, the producers, the directors, or everybody in the creative unit, uh, the way they're approaching this Spider-Man, it, it seems more authentic and more true to the original Marvel creation. Not that the other ones weren't great. I mean, they were good in their own right, but this is really top-notch. And the scene in particular is where he uh, he uses his webs to uh, take Captain America's shield. And for that split second, up on, I think he's on a bus or on a railing, he's sort of holding Captain America's shield. And I wanted to recapture this. And this is one of those times when I sort of, I originally thought I was going to do this in a, in a realistic ink and watercolor style. But as I was laying out the pencils, I thought, you know what, I do that an awful lot. And I, I want to actually draw Spider-Man in a realistic style with his, with his outfit. So I just continued penciling it all the way through, using it just like I do in my portrait drawings. And this presents a lot of challenges, because you get good at drawing the face and stubble and eyes and things like that, even the body. But uh, I don't uh, often draw outfits or costumes in that realistic style. So it was a good challenge, kept me sharp trying to uh, show the proper amount of muscle definition on Tom Holland because I mean it doesn't show through very much in the the suit but you know it does it just all of it presented a great visual image and I just wanted to capture it uh, again once I had the lines and measurements down I just it's going from light to dark shading it the shield gave me no end of trouble uh, I do have a lot of problems when doing a realistic pencil when I'm uh, trying to make things round it just because I don't like using any kind of stencil. I find that it can smudge and sort of twist it in a way that I don't want. And unfortunately that means it kind of has a, a bit of a rougher edge. But with this one, I managed to pull it off. So anyways, I hope you guys like this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and check out some more of my video content. Try fun out. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.